Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera So we continue with the second video So the first rules I already explained on you So you have to find the longest continuous carbon chain And back in your mind is not necessarily to be straight So for the next step you can name the parent chain For example for this one 1 carbon, 2 carbon, 3 carbon, 4 carbon So the parent name butane Okay, so if it consists of 6 uh, carbon, so the parent name is 6. So, remember, it's not necessarily to be straight. So, just like these examples, okay, they tak straight pun. So, if straight, you akan dapat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 carbon only. So, if you start from here, you can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this one is longest. So remember, it is not necessarily to be straight, alright? And if you have one, uh, sorry, more than one possible longest carbon chain, you have to choose the parent chain with more substituents. So for the first example, you get two substituents. If you name it or you you choose your parents with a straight, uh, straight chain, you will get only one substituents, alright? For the second rules, numbering the parent chain. Okay, I give you an examples. Okay, like previously. Okay, so you already choose this one as your parent chain. So meaning that the carbon, outer carbon. Okay, sorry, the outer carbon. This one is your branch. Okay, to number the carbon the parent chain carbon you have to consider your branch okay your branch must be at the lowest carbon number okay so let's say i number from the left to right one two three four five so your branch will be at the carbon number three okay so if let's say I number from the right to left, so one, two, three, four, five. So your branch pun masih pada carbon number three. So meaning that you can either use the orange color or even the blue numbering because your branch at the same carbon number. So, tadi you dah dapat dah, you punya longest carbon is 5. So, parent name adalah pentane. Okay. So, sekarang ni metal group berada pada carbon number 3. Kenapa I define this sebagai metal? Sebab one carbon. Branch you cuma ada one carbon. So, bila dia jadi branch, dia jadi R group. So, R group tu apa? Akil group. So, kalau satu carbon, methane. Dua carbon jadi methyl. So, locations adalah carbon number 3. Nama branch adalah methyl. So, 3 methyl. Okay. I give you another example. Okay. So, for example, this one, this structure. Okay, so this one. So, first step, longest continuous carbon chain. Okay, one, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you will just buy one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so meaning that six the be panjang. Okay, so say padam dulu. Okay, your numbering. Okay, so I circle kind you punya longest carbon number. So this is you punya parent chain. So meaning that yang terkeluar ni, okay, this is your branch. So number two, you buat numbering. So nak buat numbering, mesti lowest carbon number. Your branch must be at the lowest carbon number. So, if you start from here, you will get your branch at carbon number 4. Okay. 
So, if you are not sure, you can start uh, from opposite way. Okay. So, if you start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, color green color, your branch at carbon number 3. So, the correct way of numbering for this structure is a green color because your branch at the lowest carbon number. So, the correct name is 3 methyl. Why metal? Because one carbon at uh, your branch. And then your longest continuous carbon chain is 6 so hexane. Okay. So that one is for numbering. Okay. So next, another example for numbering juga. Okay, you can always refer to your notes. I will explain using examples. Okay, for example. Okay, so you have another. Okay, examples. So, obviously, okay, this is your longest continuous carbon. Okay. So, and then you can start with numbering. Okay. So, if I start from this side. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So, you akan dapat you punya branch pada carbon number 2 and carbon number 6. So, I will put here 2 and 6. Alright. So, if we start from here, from this end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, your branch at carbon number 2 and 6 also. So, which number you want to follow? Or you want to use okay so your first step okay longest carbon chain okay second step is your numbering so numbering branch lowest okay so if this is your case okay you have same uh, numbering if you start from left or right okay and then you have to check your alphabetical order Alright, so for carbon number 2, for orange color, this is metal group. So, it start with M. So, this is M. Okay, for the 6, this is uh, bromine. Okay, if substituents, as substituents, it will become bromo. So, this is B. So, for the blue color, alright, um, number 2 is B, number 6 is M. So, if let's say, okay, your numbering is same from the left or from the right. So, you have to choose the one with alphabetical order. Okay, so meaning that B dulu baru M. So, that's why the correct numbering is the uh, color blue ni. Okay, this is the correct numbering. So, uh, bila you dah dapat the correct numbering, the next one you can name and locate your branch. So, number 6 you either metal. Number 2 you either bromo. Locations jangan lupa. This is you punya location. Number tu adalah locations of branch. So, last kali you nak buat apa? Okay, you kena susun ikut alphabetical order. The pack name for this compound is you punya longest carbon is 7. So, 7 adalah heptane. Okay. You punya branch ada 6 metal dengan 2 bromo. So, you kena susun ikut alphabetical order. So, meaning that 2 bromo. And then, antara perkataan dengan nombor, you kena sengkang. Okay. You kena dash. So, this is 6 metal. Okay. So, sepatutnya perkataan dengan perkataan, you kena rapatkan. Right, that one, dia punya rules dalam numbering. Okay. So, dekat sini, okay, you boleh tengok. If, let's say, you ada dua branch yang sama. Dekat carbon number 2 pun, you ada metal. This one. Carbon number 3 pun, you ada metal. 
Okay, branch yang sama. So, you nak buat apa? You boleh gabungkan dia. Okay, you akan jadikan dia 2, 3, di, metal. Kenapa di? Di bermaksud you ada dua substituents yang sama. Alright. So, kalau you ada tiga, let's say, ada tiga metal, so dia akan jadi, contoh je eh, dua, dua, tiga, try, meta, apa-apa-apa. Alright, so terpulang. Okay, untuk alphabetical order, okay, contoh macam ni, okay, bila you ada banyak substituents group, you nak susun dia, you kena ikut uh, huruf. Maksudnya dia akan jadi 2 chloro, 4 isopropyl, 6 nitro, longest one is uh, nonin. Sebab 7, eh, sorry 9, carbon. Okay, so uh, next adalah rules untuk alphabetical order. Ini pun saya dah terangkan tadi. Untuk example kat sini, you ada 6 meter dengan 2 bromo. So since B dulu baru M, so dia akan jadi 2 bromo, 6 meter, heptane. So, for this example, you ada metal dengan you ada ethyl. So, huruf E dengan huruf M. So, this one, number 4 ni kita consider, lepas kita dah settle step number 1, which is longest continuous carbon chain, you dah settle step numbering, you punya branch by the lowest carbon number, and then you dah identify dah, okay, this is uh, you punya branch, Okay, which is 4 ethyl. And then this is another branch which is 6, uh, sorry, 3 methyl. And then the last one, baru you susun ikut alphabetical order. Heptin ataupun you punya parent chain takkan terlibat dalam alphabetical order. Sebab dia adalah suffix. Dia mesti berada di hujung. Okay, so that's why baru check. Jangan confuse dengan numbering 3 dengan 4 ni. Okay, 3 dengan 4 ni you dah settle dekat step 2. Okay, numbering. So, sekarang ni untuk step 4, last kali nak tulis dia sebagai satu nama yang lengkap, you have to consider dia punya uh, alphabetical order. So, you tengok dulu. Alphabetical order. Jangan confuse dengan numbering. Numbering dah settle untuk step 2. Sekarang ni adalah step number 4. So, huruf E dulu baru M. So, sebab tu nama dia jadi 4 ethyl, 3 methyl, heptin. Okay, so this is the last name for this compound. Okay, another example. Okay, so you either 3 methyl. Okay, you either 6 isopropyl. Okay, kalau iso compound, kita consider huruf I. Tapi kalau you either dimethyl, for example, kita consider huruf M. You either third butyl kita consider huruf b okay another examples you either secondary butyl kita consider huruf b kata dasar dia alright so kalau you either try metal so kata dasar untuk try metal ataupun basic functional group dia adalah metal so kita consider huruf m Try ni adalah something that we add. Okay. So for this one kita consider B. So sebab tu nama dia akan jadi 4 third butyl, 6 isopropyl, 3 methyl, nonin. Nonin adalah 9 karbon paling panjang. Untuk this structure, structure yang ini, it could be isopropyl, dia boleh juga dipanggil sebagai secondary propyl. Tapi if you nak use secondary propyl, it's also possible. But then consider huruf P in your alphabetical order. So it will become 4 third butyl, 3 methyl, 6 secondary propyl nonin. Alright. So that one is for exercise. You can try and then we can check. Okay. So next video adalah naming untuk cycloalkin. Okay. Thank you guys.